Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Deeper in the Word podcast. This is a daily scripture and commentary broadcast developed for Emmanuel Baptist Church in San Jose, California, and shared with everyone that wishes to join us in our study of God's Word. Today is Friday, May 10th. The weekly lesson is Serving in Christ. The scripture we'll be referencing is Ephesians 4, 1 through 7, and 11 through 16. Therefore I, the prisoner in the Lord, urge you to walk worthy of the calling you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope at your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. Now grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry to build up the body of Christ until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of God's Son, growing into maturity with a stature measured by Christ's fullness. Then we will no longer be little children tossed by the waves and blown around by every wind of teaching by human cunning with cleverness and the techniques of deceit. But speaking the truth in love, let us grow in every way into him who is the head, Christ. From him the whole body, fitted and knit together by every supporting ligament, promotes the growth of the body for building itself up in love by the proper working of each individual part. The church as a body is a favorite analogy of Paul. It is a fitting image. The church is composed of many members who are connected to one another through Christ who is the head of the body. The effectiveness of the church calls for every member to be tightly bound to the other, each doing his or her part, working together, and growing as one. Such a church brings glory to the Lord. This weekend, ask yourselves these questions to help you dig even deeper. How has the Lord gifted you, and how are you using that gift to help others mature in Christ? Who are some people who have helped you mature in Christ? And identify some specific things you can do that would encourage others, strengthen the fellowship, and increase the effectiveness of your church's ministry in its setting. Until next week, saints. And remember, every day is Sunday.